Hi guys, welcome to the next video. In this one I'm gonna go through some items that are missing normal maps and overly glossy objects. You often find these, well not often, sometimes when you're using modest resources. You notice there's something wrong, but you can't quite place your finger on it. And it's because this item, this bed here, is completely flat. As you can see, there's, if there is a normal map, it's most certainly not kicking in because we can't see any of the texture, the pattern of the wood. We just see a flat plastic looking bed. Uh, same goes with the bear, you can see it has really good textures, but the normal maps are not kicking in. So today we're not going to be needing creation kit, only leaf scope. I'm going to show you how to fix these items so that they look a bit more natural and blend into the Skyrim or Fallout world a bit more better. Okay, so uh, here we are in leaf scope. Uh, this is a problematic mesh because it has such low textures, like I was looking at it in Photoshop and it's... 512, barely any details. I tried to fix the normal map by making some new layers to it, but still way, way too glossy. Don't worry if your leaf scope looks different than mine. As long as you have something like 2.0 pre-alpha 1, you'll be able to do this just fine. Uh, this whole mesh is just one node right now. There can be more uh, complex ones, in which case you have to open all of the nitri shapes and fix it for each one separately. Uh, we want to go to uh, nitri shape data and find BSNUM UV sets. Uh, usually it's one if you have issues with normal maps. And you need to change it to 4097. That will mean that normal maps will kick in. As you can see, a change happens in the mesh because uh, now normal maps are kicking in. If you go look at this and save it, and go look at it in creation kit, not much happens pretty much because it, it is a bit less glossy now. But it's still kind of bad. I, I really hate the glossy, glowy furniture. So what I'm going to do to show you is the next trick on how to tweak this. Uh, you go to BS Lighting Shade Property and there's two settings you can change. Glossiness, if you put it to like 3, it glows a lot, lot less. You can change the specular color to black, then it barely has any, almost turns it completely matte. And then specular strength you can change to like one point. Uh, 0.3. 0.3. Oh, it won't let me do that. This is a uh, new new scope. Weird. Then we leave it at that. You could do that in older new scopes. Now we save it. Refresh render window, and you can see the gloss is gone. Now let's do the same for the teddy bear. Something funky going on with this nose. Uh, this one has uh, multiple nodes, so you have to just fix everything one by one. Double click. Zero nine seven. It's such a small item that you may not notice uh, much of a change. That's funny. That one already had it working. <laughs> now we save it. And our glossy little bear should turn a bit more furry. There you go. That's how you fix glossiness. This bear is not very, you know, glowy, so you don't probably have to edit these settings. Ten is okay. If you want him completely matte, you can turn specular color to to black. There you go. Now it's not glossy at all. Well, that's it. In the next video, I'll show you how to change textures to all these meshes if you have your own, or if you want to customize something from Vanilla Game.